Hello? Anyone here? This place looks like it's been empty for a while. Look how my stuff's frozen and wet now. I'm sorry to hear that, Doran. Citrus sausages. Welcome back. Get on and start cooking some stuff. Another one. This stuff will come in handy. Do that way around. Seems like the quakes did some damage here. Must be what the old guy meant about unstable. Happy anniversary, Nata. Cannot start campfires indoors. Used to be able to. I remember the days of having a fire here with a bedroll. Citrus, I was meant uh, to resub at Christmas, but totally forgotten was busy. Now rewatching all the streams on Squirrel Plus. Thank you, dude. No problem. Not Is there a stove anywhere? Sounds like we're in an oil rig. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I played the frost. Quite a few times. Mr. <laughs> the Uh, you're not even finishing the stream, but the vids are already up on Squirrel Plus. <laughs> um, I'm a Time Lord Squirrel. Oh, hey. Admin office key. Key to the admin office at the car to Hydro Energy. Bill, Jackson sent some wolves around the area. Last week, Emily said she thought she saw a bear skulking around the camp. I'm not convinced it wasn't those Brayhouse thugs trying to scare us off, but just in case, keep this flag on handy. It's the coolest thing we have to a firearm. Never know when I might need to defend myself. I love those. Uh, something about a great bar. Bringing supplies up here. He's, he's a bit annoyed because I think a bear attacked him. I could use this.
can't see anywhere to actually start a fire. Forest videos as well, Bigfoot going back like a few years. No, it won't like you have to go outside, JTB, if you want to make one. to go and cook something outside. Apparently you're not allowed to cook in here. To kill it would make the gameplay so much better. Butter, get in. Is it still night time? What's going on? Well, on Mrs. Squirrel's time, I should be getting apple pie two minutes ago. But yeah, on my time estimate. I'm predicting another 15 minutes. <laughs> you fancy apple pie? Rip. There we go. Finally. Oh my god, the game won't let me leave. <laughs> I've never played a game that does this before. No, you will not leave. You will search for radio parts and medicine. Even if you die in here, you will find them. Oh my god. Wow. Roll that down so I can actually move. No, you can't have that apple pie unless you've done your homework. 
and you won't leave that building until you find those medicines. Yes, ma'am. How many games have I played with a safe now? How do you reset it? June Whitfield died. Oh man. That's a shame. Ninety three. Seventeen. She was in uh, Terry and June, and all the Carry On films. Seventeen forty-seven. Oh yeah, she was an advert. this anymore. Is he still alive? Um, the guy who played Terry? Can't hide your damn ticket. The elevator is acting up. We've checked the mechanicals. In fine, must be glitchy electrical system. Or it could be the EMP grenade that went off. <laughs> Passed away years ago. That'll come in handy. Sweet dreams, herbal tea. <laughs> Terry Scott, that was it. Shell suit. No real warmth value of its own, but useful when paired with a decent underlayer. Underlayer, underlayer. Let's have a look. I'd have to repair it to see if it's any good. Could end up being useful. <laughs> Mark Sterling, have apple pie and me, but don't share it with Drain and Leaky. They're hungry. <laughs> wow.
Thank you, Mark. Place the vest. What you mean this thing? Oh, nine thirty. I I was oh, I was I was off by five minutes. I said because you said thirty <laughs> minutes, right? No, I said an hour and a half. No, no, no. This was the yeah, second was time. The second time. The second time when you yeah, texted me. I know, I know, I know, I know all that. But you said then, we'll we'll get you the apple pie in half an hour, you right? You're changing subject. Eight, 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 four, eight, eight fifty. Can I talk? <laughs> At ten to nine, you said it'd be half an hour, and I said add fifty percent to your time, so that's nine thirty-five. At nine thirty, you brought me apple pie. I was nearly bang on. It's a good rule of thumb. And I'm glad you did. But originally you said I could have apple pie. At 20 past 7, you said it would take an hour. <laughs> Just pointing <laughs> that out. <laughs> it's not two hours honest, and ten minutes later. Shopping came early. And then there was items missing. Items substitutes. I don't understand how you ask for no substitutes. Because keep asking for no substitutes. I actually explained to chat that Tesco substitutions are just the worst. You just want to do what? Thank goodness. I haven't got my mints. I can't make your homemade beef burgers. Did send me mints? You just say, I don't want substitutions, and then they do it anyway. <laughs> it's just absolute genius. <laughs> so, instead of having chicken beef, chicken beef, chicken beef, chicken beef, chicken beef, chicken beef. Chicken beef. So they haven't given oh, you any meat. The chicken dish is ahead of you. <laughs> you asked for rinse beef and they gave you chicken? No, they just didn't give me any meat. Right. Chicken, chicken. No beef. Beef is. Is this apple pie or apple crumble? Huh? <laughs> I didn't want to tell you it's crumble, not it's pie. Actually... <laughs> you specified. Oh, no. Apple pie at 20 past 7. I get apple crumble at half past 9. How does this work? My evening's not gone well. I think I can I've use this. Little individual apple pie. <laughs> it's just amazing. It just gets better. Yeah, but it keeps you on your toes. You know. What's the difference? Wondering what will come next. One's a pie, one's crumble. <laughs> Absolute genius. Such fun. Thank you, dear. Do you want to take this comp? <laughs> this stuff will come in handy. Like yes, I will, please. Yeah. Thank you. And when I say tea, I mean a tea, not like, you know, a Diet Coke or something. <laughs> Liquid. This could be really useful. Oh man. Industrial strength antibiotics and very strong painkillers. Dangerous. You can get hooked on this stuff. I can't move. Let's hope we don't. Now I can it. move. The game locked me in position while it made me listen to that. I left it in the cave, head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near the clearer of the hunter's blind. Head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near a clearing with a hunter's blind. Down the river, look for a clearing near a cave with a hunter's blind. Oh, it's there. 
Fair enough. Maybe it'll let me leave now. What am I going to do with all this? I can't carry it. I can barely walk with this much gear. 41 kilos. Come on, man. Connor episode three something next year. Old trapper. You can carry it, you will be very slow. I'd rather have it cooked though, otherwise. I mean, if that bear attacks. Turned out pretty well. It could get interesting. BTC's been closed down for a year years. Yeah, I've got custard. Thirty minutes. can imagine it is epic. I think it's tea. <laughs> it looks like tea. Uh, green tea's nice. Stream photo, welcome back. Kays, welcome back. Come on.
100% I reckon we will get attacked by the bow on the way back. Because the bear will have heard on the wind that we're going to take some med supplies back to that guy. And now, flip it. Exactly. The wind does like to gossip. Yeah, that's true, Joe Rinder. Too heavy to carry. Oh, shush. We are pretty overweight. <laughs> If only we was getting our buff, we'd be fine. Oh, of course, the weather goes nasty just when I need to travel. It's like lovely and calm while I'm cooking. And as the cooking comes to an end and I want to move, storm comes in. Genius. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Uh oh. The storm blew the fire out. How annoying is that? Oh well. some supplies in here. Oh, is that broken? A scrap metal shard broke. Ruined. We haven't got a knife anymore. That could be a problem. I found the whetstone at the wrong time. That's some nasty wind. B 
beef jerky. Not particularly. It's very hard. I'm going to ignore that for now. We can't carry anything anyway. We'll just get back with the meds. You got Twitch Prime. Nice one, Kavana. Of course, now we're walking encumbered into a headwind. Thing snaps low. <laughs> All right, fun. Have a good night. I don't know, Beaker. I don't know if the meat keeps burning outside. I know it freezes outside. And when it freezes completely, you can't use it. Oh, wonder how that happened. Well, at least you can get Apple Pie Lestat. I had to have Apple Crumble. Well, yes, Zarek, it's still there. It, it doesn't just walk off when it's dead. I took the the, um, the skin and the meat where I left the gut. That's why it stayed. Has anyone seen the YouTube previews now? Whilst you scroll, the voice recognition, auto subtitles are hilariously inaccurate. Oh, auto subtitles. What do you expect? Wind's turned. We've actually got some speed.
Well, I think the reason for that rescue is because otherwise you'd be you'd be able to skip an advert because it shows you where the adverts are, so you just skip past it. So it plays it anyway. Told you not to mess with me, bro. How long until the bear attacks? That's the question. See you, Kavala. Yeah, you get those, Jessic. People trying to maximize the revenue. It just works the other way. Like, some people think, oh, if I make a video 10 minutes long, I'll put six adverts in it, I'll make loads of money. Doesn't happen that way. People either block it, or when it's playing, they'll be like, advert, 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 right, I've had enough of this, and they'll close it. And that then collapses their watch time, and then YouTube looks at the stats and goes, hmm, this video's not being watched very much, so I'll just not promote it. So it just completely works the wrong way. That's one of the reasons why I've always put like a reasonable, a reasonable amount of adverts, like nothing too intrusive. Uh, Ernie McCracken, wishing you combined success in 2019. Keep living the dream. Thank you very much, Ernie. Made possible because of you. Thank you. Just go away. Thanks for lagging, game. Did you see that? Did you see it, like, stutter lag just before that happened? See, that's annoying now, because, like, I can't really carry all that. I have to use a hatchet.
Thanks. You know, I tried to not have that combat, so that's your own fault, pal. The wolves have evolved. We no longer fear your silly flares, squirrel. We insist on a bullet to the face now. Okay. Well, that's the way it's going to be. In the past, I've got lost coming through here. When you didn't have a map. It kind of looks the same. You get this big hill, and then if you go the wrong way on the hill, you don't end up coming down to the house. You end up going off towards a lake somewhere. Article 13 has not been ratified yet, Connor. They're still discussing the details. Uh, you can expect the next convoy to be like Yacht Celebration Weekend. So like April the 5th around that school. Right. So, I reckon we're going to get attacked by a bear, but either, if I remember, you go in and you come out and then the bear attacks, something like that. I'm sure it's scripted. Visit Steve. Thank you for two months, sir. Happy holidays. <laughs> Maybe it let me uh, fix him up first. <clears throat> Stroking tip, I'm not really sure how to take that, sir. I'll, I'll assume it's a compliment. You have to accept the bear challenge. I'm sure there's a bear that wanders around, though, Beaker. Wait, I can't stand on this rock.
act like you're dead. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Oh, that's smart. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious, too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're going to need some time to recover. Time? We don't have time. We need to get a message out. It's important. Message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. Wait for it's it. a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. The battery's dead. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ah, damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? EMP. Uh, with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there, hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. He's trying to get ready a one chance up. The dam was pretty busted up, like you said. The place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. It was already half dead at the time. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal, and he had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s, but then the forest talkers got involved, and that was the end of it. Pretty sure the Quakes finished the job once and for all. Can you tell me anything about where we are? Well, this whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. Though you wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. Not much around there, apart from some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. You've already seen the dam. Railroad passes through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. The whole area is mostly dead. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. <laughs> yeah. I sure do. <laughs> so, no other people living out here? You gotta understand. The collapse destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. meet anyone out here chances are they're hiding from something or someone and you why are you here yeah right where are you hiding from i have my reasons yeah yeah so who are the forest talkers eco-terrorists activists some call them depends on who you talk to i guess why are they out here well, they've been active for years. They come and go. Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of resource projects, mining, forestry mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. 
You don't sound like you agree. Oh, I have no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. You have something they want. They take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Well, judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Well, that's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. Uh, Mark Sterling, that'll be later in January. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Moby Dick. Me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? Blood. <laughs> Each other's blood, mostly. <laughs> Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. You've got a gun. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. Ha! <laughs> Won't we'll find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. No, it's not. A woman. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton. But then... I'm not sure. Well... The roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit, nothing town. North part of the island? Uh, sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her, see if she's all right. You sure she's alive? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. But I might have an idea. What do you mean, the wildlife's acting strange? You live out here long enough, you get a sense for the patterns in nature. Right now, the patterns are broken. Critters aren't behaving the way they should. It's like they're spooked or something. <laughs> no, not spooked, but changed somehow. Best way I can say it is, Things don't feel right. You said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. <laughs> so how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Or another radio? We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. Problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio, and our survival, is through that bear. He's obsessed. We have to find a way to deal with him first. He just can't stop thinking about that bar. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... Nuke! Nuke it! Because the old bear... 
He's special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, oh, PG. Magic? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not delirious. Shoulder-mounted weapons. I mean literal magic. But we need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? Why is he picked that up? There's an old story. Local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. Story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family had been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. Week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him, just a body, ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her. Eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear. Like a boar spear. But bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days. And then one morning, the wife's fever breaks. But nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him. Half dead. Blood all over him. Body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear. Or any other. Again, years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? What? <laughs> no, of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious. But he had the right idea. We have to kill it with a spear. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. And you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're going to survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <coughs> <coughs> now, let me rest. Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Right.
So, a rifle with rifle ammo does not kill the bar. So instead, we're going to throw something at it with our arms. Okay. I can see how that would definitely work. I mean, I was thinking maybe we could call an airstrike in. Like, carpet bomb the bar, you know? But hey, let's throw something at it. That sounds great. Uh, have we got any food? Let's drop some on the floor. Yeah, maybe a stone and like a wooden stick. I'm thinking we could throw that at the bar. It's, it's definitely going to be better than rifle ammo. Because it'll steal its soul, you see. That's the difference. We got a bed in here. This guy has one bed. So we have to put our own down. Great stuff. I'm gonna have to put stuff in his locker. Yeah. Ouch. They do the the voice acting like I remember the last time I played this and the way that story is told it like it's a completely different story told in a completely different way this whole kind of sticking your head in the fire thing like it was quite interesting the way they did the image imagery but the storytelling the acting is so slowly delivered that's the second major NPC now that's delivered story and it's been very slowly done But, anyway guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. I am tired now. They're over nine hours. So I'm going to call it. Ugh. I hope you've had fun. With an all day stream of uh, Long Dark. We've got a lot more to do yet on episode two. Uh, Christmas schedule tomorrow is Sunday night trucking. So back at five o'clock. For some trucking. That will be the last Sunday night trucking of 2018. Uh, and then Monday, the last day of 2018, I'm going to stream and take you into the new year with the rest of the gang. We're going to play some Siege, some Rocket League, and some GTA 5 to finish. So don't miss that next two days. Should be fun. Thank you to all the mods, guys. Thank, please give them some GGs and some love. They've modded splendidly for your pleasure. Although most of you have been absolutely bro today. I think you've only had like one, two trolls. Nothing much. It's been great. Yeah, Chris, GTA 5. We won't be doing a heist. We'll be doing some like random stuff. Anyway, have a good evening. Have a great Sunday. Don't eat too much Sunday lunch and I'll see you for some trucking if you're here. If not, maybe I'll catch up with you New Year's Eve. Too cold for the trolls, man. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Good night.